Welcome back to another video. Today is a Friday for us and we just got back from my seven year old daughter's field trip. We went to the pumpkin patch. It's still been getting like 80 degrees here in Georgia during the day, but like cooler mornings and cooler nights. But my husband is home. He's actually outside washing our cars. So while he's doing that, I think I'm going to go ahead and take down our fall and Halloween, get these shelves in the living room dusted, get everything to a clean neutral slate so we can get ready for our Christmas decor because one of my next videos will be Christmas. Well, if this ain't a disaster of a house, I don't know what is. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can done. Ooh, I'm feeling so overwhelmed right now. If you're feeling overwhelmed, if your house is messy, I hope I can motivate you today to get it done. We got an outfit check. So this is my new skirt from Amazon. It is so comfy. I just have it paired with the leggings. And these are my new favorite boot socks. They come in a three pack. And these are actually a cream white. They also come with a tan and a brown color. But they are so stretchy and so comfy. But if you are interested in this skirt, which looks so cute with these boots, by the way, I will link these boots and my skirt below because it is such a cute outfit. I'm gonna be cleaning my entire house in today's video. Starting in my boys' room, I wanted to go ahead and tackle this room. I had some laundry on top of their dresser I needed to take care of. We're gonna put their toys away and I need to vacuum in here. And I'm also gonna be putting up their new Warm Mist Humidifier by Jack and Rose. I have been loving this humidifier. This is really good if your kids got the dry cough and it just really helps when they are sick. And my toddler has not been feeling his best lately, so I wanted to bust out our humidifier and put it in their room and it has really been helping and I love the inside of this humidifier because it is stainless steel so it is much cleaner and I don't have to worry about mold growing inside of it it's very easy to keep clean it's also really nice that it has an auto clean function it will run for approximately six and a half hours on high or 11 hours on low and you can also set a timer I will typically turn it on at night when my boys go to bed and run it on high or set it for six hours and I love the safety features I can lock it and also set a child lock on the front you hold it for three seconds to lock it so you don't have to worry about your kid opening it or burning their cell and the humidifier will run for about 18 hours in sleep mode with the LED display off. I don't personally run it in sleep mode for my boys because the lights do not bother them, but it's a really good option if I were to have to use it in my room because I do not like a lot of lights on while I'm sleeping. The water tank capacity holds about three liters and it is so easy to refill. I just unplug it and it has a really convenient handle on the top that I can pick it up and I can just take it into the kitchen. I just love the safety features of this humidifier humidifier it has a waterless auto off so it will automatically shut off if there's no water in it and it also has an overflow protection in case it tips over or when it's tilted so I really think it's safe to use in your child's room when I first turn on the humidifier I wait about 25 minutes for the water to heat up to a boiling before it can produce the mist and during the heating up there may be a little noise but it becomes whisper quiet when the humidifier starts producing mist. With winter coming up I know that our kids can start getting sick our households can start getting colds so these humidifiers are so good for that dry cough and for that stuffy nose so if y'all are interested in the Jack and Rose humidifier check my description box below for that link.
So I'm going ahead and putting away the boys fall and Halloween books and we're going to go ahead and find all those fun Christmas books and get those put out on their shelf. They were so excited to come in their room and see all of the Santa books and the Christmas books and start looking through them. So I love to switch their books out because I feel like this keeps them interested in looking at the books. I started toy rotation a few years ago but I started the book rotation along with the toy rotation maybe last year because I used to always keep all of their books out at once and I noticed that they didn't care much about the books or ask me to read them to them as much when they were all out and I think it's just because maybe it was overwhelming it was really hard to keep them cleaned up because they were constantly pulled out all over the floor so I highly recommend switching out your kids books even if you don't have a ton of seasonal books just switch their books out and this will just really keep them interested in the books and they always get so excited when they come in and see that I have new books out so let's go ahead and finish up tidying up the boys room in a previous video i had decluttered some toys because my kids are about to get so much for christmas as they always do from not only us but from family as well so towards the end of this video i'm going to be going into my girls room i have them clean their own room and i will go in there and kind of help them do specific things and i'll also go in there and vacuum at the end but i'm kind of sad y'all because my seven-year-old daughter is starting to outgrow all the little girl stuff and my heart cannot take it. She is actually wanting to get rid of her baby doll high chair and her doll house. She used to have a Barbie house and she didn't want it anymore. She wanted like a smaller doll house. So I got her that about two years ago and she has just outgrown the Barbie houses, the doll houses. She still wants her Barbies, but she doesn't really play with them in the sense of like a Barbie house or a doll house. She just kind of just likes to have them and dress them up if that makes any sense. So she's really into like fashion and makeup and just the little seven-year-old girl things. So it just makes me really sad because I know one day is coming where she's going to tell me she doesn't really want to wear bows in her hair anymore. Like my oldest did. I remember one day she just didn't want to wear the bows anymore. And it's just really sad. Our kids grow up and they grow out of things. We can't keep them young forever. So I'm just going to go ahead and start putting up all of my fall and Halloween decor. And Luna was playing with one of my little felt bumps. Pumpkins. I actually decorated with those for fall and she kept finding them and smacking them into the floor and playing with them So I ended up having to put up all of my little felt pumpkins I just had a few in my kitchen on the counter that lasted but the other ones did not stand a chance with her So I'm gonna dust my entryway table and just make it super simple I can't stand for spaces to be completely empty So I am gonna leave out some just neutral decor just until we can decorate for Christmas coming very soon Also y'all my shoe bin over here I love my little bamboo shoe bench but one of my kids I believe my toddler sat or stood on the top of it and it's kind of bowed in and it bothers me really bad so I just decided to do away with it and for our shoes when we take our shoes off when we walk in for the ones that you know we don't immediately run and go put them away the ones that get left out by the door I'm just gonna use a basket at my entryway table to put our shoes in and the other one, I'm not sure yet, maybe toys, I don't know. But one I know for sure is just going to be for shoes. So I'm going to take everything off of my bookshelves in the living room and dust these. And I cannot wait to figure out how I'm going to decorate these for Christmas this year. And I do have to admit that I was extremely sad to take down my fall decor. Not so much the Halloween decor, I was ready for that to go. But when I was taking down all of my fall decor, I honestly felt really sad about it. But I'll feel better once our Christmas is up and stay decorate it again.
in between seasons, I like to dust down all of my bookshelves, my coffee table, my entryway table, my end tables, and give everything just a really good wipe down and get behind the couches. So I needed to start thinking about where we're going to put our Christmas tree. And this is a question I've gotten a lot since we got our new furniture is where are you going to put your tree? So over here in the corner where I had this table is where we are deciding to put our tree. And that's where we had it last year, except for it looked a lot different because we had a sectional couch in here on the other wall. But I love the layout of our furniture this way so much better. We just had to make room for the tree. So I just moved the end table to the other side over here. So we have this big open square to put our tree. I cannot wait to get it up. I feel like it is going to look so beautiful in this corner. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times I couldn't decide if I wanted to use the scalloped basket on my coffee table in the living room or on my kitchen table. So I ended up using a wooden rectangle tray on my coffee table and I put the round tray on my kitchen table and I don't have any decor to go in my kitchen for right now. All of my greenery is put up with my spring and summer decor out in the building. So I don't really have literally anything to put around other than what's already in my house. So y'all already know my dining room gets destroyed. I've got four children, three are young, and they make the biggest messes ever, but they do clean up after their self and it is so cute. My two year old will take his dinner plate when he's done eating and go put it in the sink and put his fork or his spoon in the sink. Like they clean up after their self, but it's just the fact that they make such a big mess when they're sitting here eating and they drop food. But y'all, they do clean up after their self, but when you've got four kids eating in the kitchen, that's just what it looks like so we're gonna go ahead and pop my favorite multi surface cleaner that I love to use as a mop solution so we're gonna go ahead and mop up the dining area and then we're gonna head into the kitchen we're gonna put away all the fall decor and get it all cleaned up and then I'm gonna mop in my kitchen as well My husband Eric, bless his heart, he was outside with the pressure washer and he was washing off our cars and he said he got carried away with it and he ended up pressure washing the building outside. It's like a storage building we have where it's kind of like his man cave but also our storage building and he was just out there pressure washing everything except our front porch that y'all know good and well my front porch needs to be pressure washed but maybe we can get that pressure washed before I decorate for Christmas on our front porch. We have a white painted wood porch and it gets dirty. Like as soon as we pressure wash it, it's just gonna be dirty again because it's white, <laughs> but it just looks so dirty. And unless I go out there on my hands and knees and scrub it up with a scrub brush or pressure wash it, it's gonna look dirty. <laughs>
So I was just filling out my calendar for November. If I don't write stuff down, I will forget it. I have so much going on in my brain. It's hard to remember all of it. We had so much candy for Halloween. We went to a trunk or treat in our town. And then we also have a neighborhood that we like to go to every year. It's just really fun for the kids to get out, walk around, trick or treat. And we always go to the same neighborhood. And it's the neighborhood I used to live in as a child. So I just feel very safe there and it's always so much fun. So I just stored it in those two baskets and we're gonna stick those on the top of my fridge. So I recently decorated for Thanksgiving and when it's Thanksgiving, I will put all of my Thanksgiving decor back up for the day for the holiday. And we did already do our little mini Thanksgiving with just my immediate family. I had talked about that in my Thanksgiving prep video. So a couple of weeks before Thanksgiving, I like to just cook Thanksgiving food just for me and my husband and my kids. And we just have our own little mini Thanksgiving before we have big ones with our family. So I wanted to go ahead and decorate for Thanksgiving and have our little turkeys and stuff set up. So on Thanksgiving day, I will have my thankful sign and all my turkeys set around, but I want to get all of my Christmas out and set up because I feel like it's so much work to decorate for Christmas, especially with the Christmas tree and placing everything perfect until you love it so I just want to enjoy it longer than just a couple of weeks so if I wait until December 1st to decorate or a couple days after Thanksgiving I just feel like I don't get to enjoy the Christmas as much and I'm never ready for it to go back into the boxes and the totes and be put away after just a few weeks so I love to enjoy my Christmas decor through November and December and y'all I'm still on the fence about my tiered tray I do love to decorate it for the seasons for the holidays but whenever I just have neutral decor, there's literally nothing to put on it. And I never know what to put on it when it's not a holiday. So my kitchen looks so empty. My husband walked in and he was like, oh, are we moving out? <laughs> he was just joking because everything just looks so empty. And it was also echoey because all of my decor was taken away. It was a lot more echoey in my house. So let's go ahead and tackle these dishes and then I'll move on to the floors. We are going to vacuum in the kitchen. I'm also going to run my mop around through the living room. Then we're going to head to the back of the house the next day. My hallway was currently lined up with all of my fall decor. I was waiting on my husband to bring in my totes so that I could put all my fall decor away. And after all that hard work of cleaning, my kids wanted to paint. So we are gonna get some paint out and let them do an activity. And then we're gonna move on to the next day and we're gonna put all of the fall decor in my totes. And I actually needed one more tote. So we are gonna fit what we can in the two that I got out. And later I'll put the rest in that third tote.
and your way While our hearts in love we race I have the most abundance of decor for fall and for Christmas. For other holidays, I just have one tote for just some decorations. And if the tote overflows from just one tote, I try to get rid of some stuff and keep it minimal down to just one because I feel like I don't need more than one tote of Valentine's Day or, you know, one tote of Fourth of July. So for fall and Christmas, I've got about three totes worth for fall and for Christmas I'll have to count my totes but I think probably three or four totes plus our Christmas tree organizers so I have the most abundance of decor for Christmas as I feel like most people do. <laughs> I feel like most people have the most decor for Christmas. So now I am finally getting to my room. I wanted to get everything done in one day but sometimes that's just not realistic especially when you've got children relying on you to cook dinner and you've got other things going on that you've got to do. You just can't get to everything in one day and that is completely fine. So it's taken me two days to check off everything on my to-do list that I wanted to get done. Everything in my house, every room in the house I wanted to touch in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and put some fresh clean sheets on my bed and don't even mind Luna. She has the zoomies and she especially gets the zoomies when I change the sheets with the sheets flopping around. It just puts a spark under her tail and makes her want to chase the sheets. <laughs> Let me know if you have a cat if she's the same way or he's the same way if they chase your sheets when you change the sheets on your bed. I decided to go ahead and go through my clothes. I like to do this very often and just anything I haven't worn in a while or I never wear or something I think I'm gonna wear but I literally never wear it. <laughs> I just try to go ahead and get rid of it. So I was trying to work on a trash bag of some clothes to get rid of because I don't like for my closet to be overflowing where I have so many clothes that I don't have enough hangers because it is a shared closet with my husband so I only have so much space for my clothes. We don't have that much room in our closet. We do have a good size walk-in closet, but it's also like a storage closet since it is the only big closet in our house. We have two small closets in my kids' bedrooms, and then we have the big closet in my room, and it's the only closets in our entire house, so they get really full really fast. I'm just going to keep these neutral brown pillows on my bed. They can go for fall or just neutral. So I'm just going to leave those on my bed and also because I don't have any more to change them into at the moment. So I love to find my pillow covers from Amazon. That's where I buy all of my pillow covers from. There was once a time where I was buying a bunch of pillows and I had different kind of pillows in my storage totes and in my closet and having to store them away and they took up so much space. So I decided to get rid of all of those 
those pillows and only keep a couple, two for my bed, some for my couch, and just change out the pillowcases on them. So I'm actually looking for some cute Christmas pillow covers. I'm not sure if I'm gonna reuse the ones I already have or I may find some that I like better. And if you do have a bunch of pillows that you don't wanna part with, then I could recommend getting some vacuum seal bags and vacuum sealing your pillows so that they can flatten down a little bit for storage. Funny story about our jack-o'-lanterns. So I actually carved these by myself. I wanted to purchase two of the jack-o'-lanterns because my plan was for my husband to carve one and for me to carve one and for us to do it together, but it just did not work out with his work schedule, just our busy schedules in general. So actually the day of Halloween, I carved the pumpkins on the front porch by myself, I was halfway done when the kids got off the bus and they wanted to help me a little bit with gutting the pumpkins, but carving them was obviously too hard for them. So I carved them and I actually tried to give both of them two or three teeth a piece, but whenever I went to cut the mouth and pop out the mouthpiece, the tooth broke off. So both of my pumpkins only had one tooth a piece. <laughs> Taking down fall and Christmas is the most work and I feel like I want to take a whole day or two to dedicate time to take it all down and get everything reset before I decorate for the next holiday. So for fall, this takes a lot of time obviously to get this all done. And I'm just going to move my mums down here to my garden from the planters on the porch and we're just going to give those some water. And heading back into the house, I've got both bathrooms to clean and we are going to do a little bit in the girls' room. I had both of my girls in their rooms cleaning their sides of the room. Y'all have seen my girls' room before. I have it kind of split where the left side is my seven-year-old side of the room and the right side is my teenager side of the room. So they have their own spaces to clean so they're not overlapping, trying to clean each on top of each other. So they are in their room decluttering, organizing the best way that they can. And we're going to head into the kids' bathroom. And I decided y'all to go ahead and do away with these fluffy blue rugs. They look super cute in the kids bathroom but they stay so dirty with the kids running in and out of the house and tracking dirt in from outside and they get toothpaste splattered on them somehow and they just smell bad. So I decided to just go ahead and throw them in the trash and I think we're just going to do without rugs in here. I may get one to go right in front of the sink just like a little thin one that'll be easy to clean because the big fluffy ones are adorable but they are just not functional for our family. I've got three little ones so it's just not ideal to have in this bathroom.
So coming very soon, once I finish my Christmas shopping, I'm gonna share what I'm getting my three youngest kids for Christmas. I'm not gonna share what I'm getting my teenager just because I know that she's old enough to go online and she can see what I got her. But my three little ones, they have the Amazon Fire tablets and they're like parental controlled and they don't just freely roam on YouTube and all that. So they cannot see what their presents are gonna be. So if y'all are needing some gift ideas for ages two, five and seven or around those ages I will be sharing some present ideas so if you've got Christmas or birthday coming up maybe I can give you some ideas and I will link things things that I can link sometimes you can't link everything <laughs> but I plan on filming that video as soon as I finish with all of my Christmas shopping but that's pretty much the end of today's video we're getting these bathrooms clean my girls were finishing up cleaning up their room their room gets to be a nightmare <laughs> I don't know what it is with little girls but let me know if you've got girls if you feel like their room just gets out of control because I walk in their room and just want to turn around and walk out and just shut the door but I know that it needs to be taken care of so we are just going to take a deep breath and get through it but thank y'all so much for watching today's video I really hope y'all enjoyed it and found it motivational love y'all so much and I'll see y'all in my next video